Welcome to this next little film in the series Percy's Progress. Well at long last we've got some decent weather and I'm able to really crack on with his training now. Uh, I've been really working on his hunting which you saw in the previous video and that's coming on really nicely. But I'm now also starting to do a few little memory retrieves and basically make his retrieving A more interested but B a little bit more complicated. So I've come out to uh, our local wood here. Uh, I've got a ride up through here which is which is perfect for this. It creates a bit of a bit of a track. See Percy's still not 100% on the lead but I can at least get up the road with him. So I'm just going to walk him up. Just my little sit whistle, good boy. And I've introduced another command to him now and that's uh, a leave it command as I throw the ball out. Brrt, leave it. So obviously as I go on um, that's going to come in even more when I start more steadiness work. So I'm going to turn away, take him away and I'm always going to turn him away from the ball. So if I turn him this way he's obviously going to be ball side on and that, he could lunge out for that. So I'm going to turn him away, leave it, leave it. He's obviously going to be really keen on wanting this. Good boy, that's better. Good lad. And I'm not going to walk too far. I'll get back to my area, sitting down again. Now what I'm going to do now, we're going to, he's learned to wait off of the lead. But I'm actually going to just block him to try and stop him from running in on this. And it's just the start of a little bit of steadiness. You can see how excited he is. Sit. Sit. I want him sat down first of all. Sit. I'm just going to block him with my right leg. Wait. Wait. I'm doing everything fairly slowly just to avoid him rushing past me. Wait. Just giving him a little bit of time. This increases the memory on this. Get out. Good boy. Now his delivery's got so much better. You can see we see really enjoying himself. Sit, good lad. His delivery's getting so much better now. You saw there, straight back, straight up, nice delivery. So the next stage in this exercise is to basically increase the distance between the dog and the retrieve and also the length of time that before you send the dog. Uh, and obviously what that does hopefully is just increase the memory, which obviously is the function of this. So we're just gonna repeat this again. Sit, good lad. Again, I'm gonna try and keep this lead nice and slack. I'm just gonna put my leg in front of him, just in case. Now what I'm trying to do now is beginning to see whether he understands this word, leave it, leave it. Now that was good. Lead nice and slack. We'll turn him away, leave it, and walk him back. Now this is nice now because he's not trying to pull back to get back to that dummy. See, I still need to do a bit of work on his heel work, but that's fine, we can work on that. Percy here, good lad. So I'll get to my point. I want him sat for this, sit. Sit, good lad. Sit. Again, I'm gonna block him. Do everything nice and slowly, wait, wait, wait. And you can see how this fits into actually when you take the lead off of him just normally under normal circumstances, by getting him to wait rather than running off straight away. It just gives you a kind of a half a step jump when you get to this. I'm watching him really closely just to check his body language. He's looking okay at the moment. I'm just gonna try some, I'm actually gonna step back away from him, wait, wait. I'm still blocking in between the dummy, wait, okay, good, lay down, wait, I'm still watching him really carefully, he looks quite relaxed at the moment, get out, and a nice retrieve, good boy, here, good lad, he enjoys this game, Really good way of getting the dog some exercise as well. Good lad, very happy with that. So my further stage now will be, say, increasing the distance, increasing the time I leave him there before I send it, send him, but also I will start to move more and more around him. So bit by bit, I'm putting all my jigsaw pieces together, my weight command, my steadiness, 
and obviously my retrieving and my delivery. So all those little elements that I was practicing on in the previous videos are all now starting to come together. I'm also very keen to uh, test myself and test Percy at all, all opportunities. So I've been developing that little memory retrieve there you saw earlier on, uh, but also I take a bit of an, uh, opportunities to say, to push myself a little bit and him. And we've just come to another little part of this woodland. I've got a little stream in front of me, uh, two really rough areas of, of grass. So I just thought as I was walking back to the car actually, I thought I'm just gonna try this out and just see whether uh, it'll do a little memory across an obstacle like that. Uh, I've got no idea whether it's gonna work or not. Uh, if it doesn't, that's not the end of the world because I haven't trained him to do this. Uh, but we'll just see how we get on. So I'm just going to come in exactly the same as we did before. Ooh, there's a few stinging nettles coming out now, which are a little bit uncomfortable for the little dog. There we go. So, sit. Good lad. A little noise again. Now, already he's learned. He's getting quite, I'm getting quite a nice relaxed. Turn him away. He's walking back through there. I'm not going to wait too long this time before I send him because obviously it's that much more difficult for him. Get out. That's lovely. He's gone straight back. Oh, wow. Straight over. He's just got to hunt that rough grass now. Oh, I can't believe that. Good boy. And a nice delivery. Good boy. Yes. Good lad. This little dog absolutely astounds me. Very, very talented. Never done that before. First time. Good boy. Oh, really, really pleased with that. As I said in the previous videos, I think we're making some progress. Good boy. <laughs>